Hey folks, so got what I believe is going to be a quick one tonight. Um, I've been playing with some new toys, soldering irons, uh, TS-80P, TS-100, um, really cool stuff. I still really like the iron that I've been using. Uh, this is my, uh, what the hell is it? It's an Xtronic 3020. Uh, it's basically just a Hakko clone and thankfully it's off. And I just use genuine Hakko tips on it because I find that they tend to work better than cheap generic stuff. Um, but yeah, it just, just takes the same old tips there. I've been really happy with this thing, especially for what I paid. It was like 50 bucks, 55 bucks shipped. Um, and it's been, uh, it's been wonderful to me. I, of course, have probably spent double that in tips just trying to figure out what I like and so far I'm leaning towards these K series tips uh Voltar turned me on to them Voltar turns on lots of people um I don't know they're nice they make soldering nice they're good tips they're really good for this fine edge stuff and for big stuff uh but I also have another soldering iron that I haven't used lately but do use on occasion. And of course, this is just the iron. I'm not showing you the whole station because it's, I can't really get to it easily. Um, this is an Edson Loner 951SX. This is a fantastic soldering iron, um, but I cannot recommend these based off of the cost alone. I like it because it was five bucks and I got a steal. <laughs> I got it for a steal, but uh, of course needed lots of work and a brand new fuse. Um, and I really do want to get another tip for it because I don't like these style tips, but the tips are kind of expensive. Recently I found them on the manufacturer's website and they're nice and cheap. And I think I'll probably get some when I think about it, but in the meantime I have two other soldering irons to play with. So this T80P, really cool. I'm digging it so far. One of the nicest things about it is the, uh, ugh, it's so tight, is the USB-C. Uh, the charger that actually comes with this thing works on my laptop, so guess what I was just charging. Um, but anyway, really nice iron. I'm digging it. I haven't used it. I just got this tip in, this K-series tip, and I'm excited about that. I want to play with it. Um, my least favorite thing about this iron are these proprietary tips. I don't like this. I mean, it's fine for now, but the tips are kind of expensive and I just, I don't know. I don't think you should be using a standard plug on something that doesn't do anything standard. I mean, you're going to get morons like me who do shit like this and break something, but the iron itself is fantastic. Anyway, this one, this is the TS-100. I, I don't know, I haven't really used it too much, mainly because it takes a uh, barrel jack and the only power supply that I have that works with this is, I, I regularly use that with my external hard drives, so I can't really dedicate it for this. And, uh, you know, is what it is. Now, I know a lot of people like these because you can just get a barrel jack plug and then, you know, hook this up to like a hobby lipo and then just run it off that and you could, you know, add it to your portable kit for, you know, soldering your hobby RCs or whatever. And that's fantastic. I'm sure that is a wonderful feature. Unfortunately, um, well, I am in hobby, I am into hobby RC as well, but all of my batteries are max two cell, uh, so two series, they're only 8.4 volts. This thing requires up to 12 volts before it'll even start thinking about soldering. Uh, higher the voltage, the better, but it'll take what it can get as long as it's at least 12. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's get to the actual point of this video. I'm making a power supply adapter for this thing. Um, so that I can use my TS-80P plug with the TS-100 as well. So what we need for this 
is of course one of these barrel jack adapters. They sell these um, in a variety of styles. I like this one because the uh, plug side is all nicely terminated and molded and then you just get the two wires that you have to solder and you're good to go. And I have already tested it out. This is the right polarity so I don't have to worry about making sure the black is the positive or anything like that. The other piece to this puzzle is one of these magical adapters here. You can get these on uh, eBay and AliExpress, the usual places, but what these are, these are USB-C power delivery adapters. So you plug this in to, uh, I forgot to set my AC, um, plug this into a USB-C power delivery power supply. It'll negotiate 15 volts, 20 volts? Yeah, 20 volts. Um, and then it'll just give you 20 volts to play with. Do whatever the heck you want with. So for example, boom, 20 volts. This should not only make um, using this thing easier because I don't have to go get another power supply. It also means it'll work better than the 12 volt supply that I was going to use with this. Now, assembly, super complicated. I, you guys are gonna have to bear with me on this one. It's gonna get real technical, but we need to solder the black wire to the negative side and the red wire to the positive side. I know, it's, it's tough stuff, but just stick with me and we'll get through it. I'm gonna trim these down because the leads are entirely too long for my taste. And then I'm going to use I'm gonna tin these bad boys up. There's a big old glob of solder. I've already forgotten which is which. They're labeled on the bottom, but as far as I can tell, they're not labeled on the top. Which is a shame, but that's okay. No, I'll, I'll do it like, no. Ah, screw it. We'll split the difference. So red is on the left here. And there we go. I hope I didn't lose you guys. I know that was uh, super complicated. And I will apologize because this is gonna end up being a 15 minute video for something that took 30 seconds, but it's just who I am as a person, I'm sorry. What I should do next is test it and make sure it works, but what I'm actually going to do is throw on the finishing touches, which is some snazzy clear heat shrink. I should have put a smaller piece on first, but, uh, oh well, too late. Smaller heat shrink would be better, but it's the size I got, so. And I don't know what size that is. It's just what I have. And I'm going to use my hot air station to shrink this heat shrink. And uh, for those that aren't familiar with my channel, heads up, it does cause some light flickering, as in it causes my lights to flicker when it's on. Uh, I don't think my camera picks up on it that much, but just in case, you know, Flicker warning, I guess. There we go. Gotta wait for it to heat up. Yeah.
Yeah, that definitely could be better. But it also could be worse. Should have cut the heat shrink just a wee bit longer. All right, no more flickering. So that's that's it. That was the complicated power supply install. I'm using a uh, USB-C power delivery adapter that came with the TS80P. Uh, it also supports USB QC, USB Quick Charge. If you have a USB A to USB-C adapter. <laughs> Uh, so that'll work on this too, that way. Works better in USB power delivery mode, that's for sure though. Um, let's try it out. Ta-da! No. I don't really, I haven't played with this thing too much. So I don't really know what I'm doing here. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that either. How do I make it get hot? I don't know why I'm asking you. There we go, just gotta hit the other button. Well, look at how hot, how quickly that gets. Let's tin it up. Oof. Some nice, delicious solder. Look at that. It's beautiful. I should get a fume extractor. I guess that'll be my next project. But anyway, um, yeah, this is pretty cool. If it works as well as I assume it does, because I haven't really soldered with it. I've soldered with uh, this one, just with the different tip. And uh, it's good soldering. It's perfectly usable. Um, I still like my other one better. The most, the biggest thing that I, I think most people uh, don't really realize until, oops, sorry until uh, too late, is that with a soldering iron you really need a stand uh, to put it in. So with my other soldering irons, they have a base station, you know, you just pop it in the stand and it holds it there, make sure the tip isn't touching anything and you're not ruining anything, and it's good, right? These don't really have that. This one did come with this shitty little paper clip that you stick onto it. But that's, I mean, it's so easy to knock over. It's not, it's not a good stand, I don't think. It's serviceable, but you can do better. You owe it to yourself to do better. But uh, yeah, anyway, there we go. I'll throw a link in the description to these little power supplies that I used. I, um, someone on Reddit turned me on to these because they used it to convert their ThinkPad over to USB-C charging. This will charge a ThinkPad. That's how much power these things put out. Um, well, actually, these things technically don't put out any power at all. These, this IC here, the only purpose is to negotiate 20 volts, and then otherwise this is just pass-through voltage. Um, but they're super cool modules. I have no idea how reliable they are, but seems good so far and the person who recommended them didn't really seem to have any problems so fuck it why not but anyway there we go thanks for watching guys oh real quick i do got to mention it i'm sorry um if you're looking for one of these irons like i said they're really they're they're pretty good irons i'm happy with the other one that i bought um but if i was buying another iron like if i was starting over I would probably grab one of these because it's certainly good enough to use as my regular day-to-day -day iron. I really like the small tips, um, like compare that nonsense. I know I can get smaller tips for this, but 
I don't know. It, for what I do, usually this tip size works out better, but like I said, I, I've been experimenting with this. I have, I have a drawer full of tips. But anyway, um, Retro Game Repair Shop did just start stocking these, so if you want to check them out, they do have those listed. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, cool stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. Bonus! Forgot to mention. Sorry. Um, my power supply that I've been using... Oh, there's my tip. I've been looking for it. Fucking magnets. Um, my power supply. This will also work with this. And uh, look at that. 20 volts to work with now. So, dual function. Works for my power supply, too. Anyway, now I'm done. Have a good night.